Hi UK Scrap Addicts, it's Kaylee from Create With Kaylee here. Um, this month's theme is Grab Five, so I've gone ahead and grabbed five things. I have chosen some um, beautiful patterned paper, that's coppery, um, some cardstock. I've got three colours but I think that counts as five still because it's still five things. Um, I have got these beautiful embellishments. We're going to use these ones because these lay flat, whereas these ones are a little bit more 3D. Um, and you just need to be careful if you were using these ones to make sure that you had them um, in the right place. You know, in a scrapbook where it didn't matter that it was thick, I mean. I've also grabbed some ribbon. This is really nice velvet ribbon. And I have grabbed a white gel pen, which... I seem to have just put down in a place that's not immediately obvious to me. Here we go. There's my white gel pan. So that is one, two, three, four, five things. So I actually um, have just filmed this video and unfortunately my camera decided to stop work working. So I had some photos and I've now, I only had the two printed um, that I really wanted to use. So I'm just gonna show you how to make this, but I won't be showing you the photos because um, I will show you that at the end. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this as our base piece of card and we're going to take um, this light coloured card and put this down to, sorry, we're going to take the red and put it down to 8 inches by 8 inches. And this is going to be the nice focal point of um, the, the layout. I'm also going to take this card and put it down to 4 inches by 8 inches. Now this is going to be where we're going to add text. Um, so it's going to be like a little pop out, um, kind of like a little pop out book. So you're going to score this at 2 inches, 4 inches and 6 inches. And we're going to put our trimmer to the side. So we're going to need this off cut that we used, that was left of the A4 piece. And then we're going to take our... 8x8 eight eight and lay that off on the centre so it's actually just going to be offset. So I'm just going to use Tombow wet glue for this. Stick that down and then take my focal piece and just lay that down as well. And we have our nice focal so with our little um, burnish that we're just going to, um, oh, I've done a score wrong on that. So let's just rescore that. So it should be two inches, four inches, and six inches. So I'm just gonna burnish the score lines and could use a bone folder, but I don't have one handy. So I'm just grabbing my glue that I do have. And we're gonna take the ribbon and we are just going to tie this around because this is going to be what keeps our little book closed. So there we go, just a nice little bow. And we're going to use some tear tape to stick this down on the back to make sure it is really nice and stuck because it's a little bit heavy. So just apply some tear tape to the back of this. And then what we're gonna do, because I don't have the photos, because I only, sillyly only printed out two, I'm just gonna create some two photo mats so that we can place where the photos will go. So I've just cut that down to the wrong size. So I'm just going to cut it down just a smidge smaller. So it'll be slightly different size photos, but that's fine. I'll just make sure I print them out correctly. So our photos are going to go on either side. Like so. 
and I want to make sure that I'm using the same distance in the corner on both sides and that just means it looks a bit more symmetrical and it's a little bit more pleasing to the eye. And then I'm going to remove off my tear tape and I'm going to put my sentiment holder my, where I can store all the lovely memories that I'm cherishing on this page. And that is just going to go in this bottom right hand corner, left hand corner. So I'm going to take my ribbon again and I'm going to slide this through the embellishment and I'm going to use this to tie a knot, to tie a little bow. And this is going to be how I'm going to easily stick it down because this is a bit tricky. Because it's so delicate and so thin, any kind of adhesive you use is going to show up. pull this into a nice little bow I'm not sure that's a very pretty bow um, but this is just a display one so then what I would do here is I would take my gel pen and I would write a sentiment across here in the space remaining and then that would be just the way I can complete it by using my handwriting and really bring in the the whites of the cardstock so let me show you the one that I was originally showing you with the photos so I've changed the photo I've changed the, the pattern paper up and the color combination but all we can see here is that I've got a nice um, I've got a nice sentiment uh, sorry my nice embellishment my sentiment because this is my Effie the elf this is my elf on a shelf and then in the text area you open this up and it's just a nice space for you to journal and put all of the adventures that Effie got up to or whatever you are hoping to journal on your scrapbook layout. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I would love to see your find five creations. I actually found this quite um, one of the easier challenges because actually I think five things is quite a lot to choose from and so I didn't feel, feel really too constrained and because it, I was using these really fun pictures um, for Christmas, I was inspired to just go with this suite. So all of the the ribbon, the paper, the patterned paper all matched. And so I found it really easy to just coordinate this one. So it's a lot of fun. So I hope you find it the same. And um, please do share your um, creations on our UK Scrap Addicts Facebook page. We really do get inspired by what you guys create. So thank you so much for watching. And I really hope you have a great day and a happy Christmas.